Welcome back to Dire Electric Videos. On today's episode, I'd like to show you a new acquisition of mine, which is actually a Geiger counter. You can get these on Amazon and eBay for about $80 to $100, somewhere in there. This one, I believe, was around $90. And this is kind of a cool thing because it has an actual Geiger Mueller tube inside, and it's basically a uh, general purpose radioactivity detec detection system. Now this particular one can only detect beta, gamma, and x-ray uh, radiation. It does not detect alphas, and I don't think it detects neutron flux either. So it, uh, it does only detect the rather more penetrating uh, nuclear particles. But, of course, this doesn't stop you from using it to detect radioactive materials, because generally alpha emitters or their decay products will generally also emit, to some extent, betas and gammas. So as you can see, the background radiation in the house here is around 24 or so counts per minute. Sometimes it goes up and down. It's basically, it, this device takes a one minute or so running average of the detection rate, and it's pretty much a little bit random how, uh, how it fluctuates. This also came with a small card with some sort of guidelines and recommendations. It uh, basically says anything under 50 counts per minute is normal background, and uh, basically anything over 2,000 is report to government evacuate immediately. So I was kind of curious to find out if this thing was actually working or if it wasn't just like a sort of random, uh, random noise generator that looked like a Geiger counter because that could very well be a legitimate or a, uh, a sort of scam that someone might try to do where they might assume no one's ever going to find anything super radioactive, so they just make it click a few times and uh, sell something on eBay that way. But I was in fact able to find something that uh, triggers this quite substantially, so let me show you that. So the item that I'm going to be investigating was actually so radioactive that uh, for long-term storage I've actually placed it in a cast iron uh, container just to make sure that there's minimal leakage of radiation. The interesting thing about this object is not only is it very, very radioactive, but it also is, uh, well, for one thing, it's historically well known that this particular type of item has uh, the potential for being radioactive, but also, uh, through a demonstration I'll show you in a minute, its primary mode of radioactive decay is actually, uh, well, probably alpha, but secondarily, gamma. And gamma radiation is one of the most hazardous because gamma particles penetrate the skin very easily, whereas beta and alpha particles are more or less blocked by the skin or just a short distance of penetration. So I'm going to open the container, and you can see the counts have already, the count rate has already gone up substantially. And if I remove the plastic protection here, so we get minimal attenuation try not to spend too long exposed to that. We'll just let that count up for a while so you can see just how incredibly radioactive this object is. So keep in mind this card. If we go past 2000, extremely high, evacuate immediately, report to government. Granted, this is for ambient radiation, so since this is uh, not ambient, this is in the middle of the object, it's a little bit less of a concern, but it's still going up. We're at 44, 46, 47, 5,000 counts per minute and rising. And you can hear it also makes a beeping sound periodically to indicate that you're above the... I believe it starts beeping at 100, which is the medium level threshold. Still rising, 7,000, 7,300, 7,800, 8,000, so we're now four times the extreme hazard level, and still rising. So it's kind of leveled off at about 8,100. So I'll go ahead and pull that out. You can see it's substantially stopped. It is still beeping because the running average is still quite high. So in case you're wondering, this is a piece of uh, rather vintage, probably mid-1940s, uh, bright orange Fiesta ware. And it's actually well known as a radioactive source, probably one of the most radioactive things in the household. 
In fact, it's, uh, the, the thing that gives it the radiation is that brilliant orange color. It's actually a, uh, it's a uranium salt glaze. Now let me show you something particularly interesting. I've got a sheet of aluminum foil here which completely blocks or mostly blocks beta particles and certainly of course blocks alpha particles since they're even less penetrating than betas. Let's go ahead and place this over the top of the object and let's stick this back on. Yep, that is almost as high a detection rate as before. And what this indicates is it's not beta particles that are coming off of this, it's gammas, which means definitely something you don't want to be around for particularly long. So I'll go ahead and move this out of the way and let's just seal this up now before we get any more overly exposed to any of that. And as you can see, with the high density cast iron lid on this, it is pretty much uh, no, pretty much just down to background. In fact, I'll reset it just so it stops beeping. But as you can see, yes, this is indeed a valid Geiger counter. This actually does operate, and it was able to detect that Fiesta Ware container. So that uh, is a good sign for its accuracy. Now I would like to try testing this against a calibrated Geiger counter. I don't have access to one right now, but uh, if I do end up gaining access to it in the future, I may end up doing a bit of a shootout between this and an actual Geiger counter just to see how accurate this is in terms of its uh, sort of background uh, measurement level as well as measurement of highly radioactive sources. So I found that to be a pretty interesting purchase. My uh, interest in nuclear energy and nuclear technology made this a, of particular interest to me. And uh, it seems like a pretty good deal if you're just interested in messing around, trying to do a, go around looking for things that are radioactive, or if you're just curious to see if there's anything in your house that you might want to put into a, shield, uh, a shielded container like that Fiesta Ware pot. So yeah, pretty awesome. Uh, this particular model number is the GMC300E, it's kind of just a no-name thing, but uh, the cool thing is like, I can take this cover off and have a look, and you can see in there there is actually a Geiger-Muller tube in here. So it is actually a Geiger counter. It's not, a, uh, not like an integrated circuit-based radiation detector, so it's, it's pretty legit. So this is a shorter video. Uh, hopefully you found that to be interesting and maybe you'll consider getting one and playing around with it. And I will see you next time. Thanks for watching.